Hi there. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to add analytics code, for example, Google Analytics to your WordPress blog. In the WordPress blog, there are a lot of uh, plugins that can do the job for you. But if you want to just uh, remove one extra plugin from your uh, blog post installation and do it manually, that would be a good idea. And this video will explain to you how to do that. Now, if uh, we have a Google Analytics setup, then we are going to get some kind of uh, tracking uh, code. To do that, all you need to do is log into this Google Analytics software, go to the admin section and choose a property. This is my blog and I'm going to get a tracking code out of it. This is the tracking code that I'm going to use. So this is the thing that I'm going to add to the uh, WordPress uh, blog so that I can remove the plugin. Now I'll just copy it and place it in a notepad. So the next question would be how to add this into your theme. So let's say this is your WordPress blog right here. And if you check the source code and search for the terms that have been mentioned for example take this keyword here and search your source code you can view the source code by going to the browser and right clicking on uh, the screen and going to the view page source which will take you to the source code that's how i went there and this will indicate the complete uh, source code that has been involved in making of this page now inside the source code you can search the term that I had just checked and as you can see it's not there. So how do I add it? To do that I have to first find out the theme. I can do it by going to the WordPress admin panel. By typing the uh, URL as wp under uh, dash admin and then I'm taken to login screen. I just have to log in. This is my local installation. You can uh, do this on your web host also so now i have to go to the appearance and inside that there would be themes so click on the themes section or the menu item and you'll be taken to the theme section and here you would find what is your current theme so whatever is the active theme right now would be shown here in the first place out of all these columns that you see so this the name of your theme is 2014 now you take any PHP editor and open your project and inside the WP content or if you are in the C panel go to this uh, navigation uh, go to the WordPress directory WP content and then from there go to themes and since we have uh, found out that 2014 is our theme we just expand it and we find the file known as functions.php this is the file that is called in all the uh, theme functions just before the theme functions and here is the place where we can write some code if the theme doesn't allow any other file to be placed inside it so we're going to add the code uh, the analytics code to this section the way to do that is something called as add action and we're going to add the action and the action name would be wp underscore footer so actions are the locations where you can add your html code wordpress allows you to do, do that kind of thing uh, if you don't know much about action or want to know about them in detail you can watch the video in the link that i have given below and from there you can come back to understanding what an action is so we are going to use wp underscore footer here now wp footer is a is an action that is implemented by most of the themes and it is in used to provide the information in the footer section so if i have this blog post I can see that there is a section here uh, where I can see uh, something displayed called as proudly powered by WordPress and here's the footer information and the footer hook 
attaches itself to this this complete black bar so now all I need to do is create a function so for example Google Analytics and put a semicolon and then I have to define this function once I do that all I need to do is paste this HTML inside the function but actually it's not an HTML it's uh, the inside the script tag so it is a JavaScript and the functionality of pasting a script or HTML in PHP remains the same now if I just copy everything and paste it it's not going to work that well because everything out here is PHP and then this is HTML or JavaScript so what I need to do is I need to close this tag so that the PHP code ends here then there is the script code and then I have to start the tag again so that the PHP code starts once again like this just format it a little bit and it looks beautiful so now I have added the action in the WP underscore footer. Uh, the function name is Google Analytics. And inside that, I have opened the brace, curly brace, and closed the PHP tag. And then the HTML or the, or the JavaScript code comes into picture. Then the PHP function starts once again. And finally, it is closed by the closing curly brace. So once I have done this, uh, the code is now inside the theme and all I need to do is refresh the source page so that I can see the code. So I will use control F5 to replace uh, to refresh the page. And if I search now, you can see that the code is been added to the footer section. All right, so that is how you do it. Uh, the important thing to note is that your theme should implement WP underscore footer. Without that, it will fail. So if your developer has not uh, added the WP footer hook, then he needs to do that. He or she needs to do that. And you can ask him to add this footer to the whole theme section. The good point is that if you tomorrow decide to change the theme to, for example, from 2014 to 2013, and it also has some kind of place where you can write uh, this code once again, all you need to do is just take this code, copy it end to end, and just place it here in the new file. So nothing would be changed. So keep your all your functions inside this file and when you change the theme you can always copy it that's a very simple way of adding not only google analytics but any kind of html code into your wordpress blog i hope i was able to explain the concept of uh, adding html or a script code and especially the google analytics code in your wordpress blog thanks for watching